Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to add a custom font family in Tailwind CSS. In this video, we will walk through the process of adding a custom font to your Tailwind CSS project, both from the Google fonts and locally downloaded font files. Before getting started, it is essential to ensure that you have Tailwind CSS set up in your development environment. If you are new to Tailwind CSS or have not set up yet, don't worry, I have got you covered. I have created a comprehensive video tutorial on how to install Tailwind CSS in Visual Studio Code. The video is titled on how to install Tailwind CSS in VS Code and you can find it in our Tailwind CSS playlist in this channel. By following the steps in that video, you will have Tailwind CSS up and running in no time and you will be ready to follow along with today's tutorial. To access our Tailwind CSS playlist, simply click on the playlist tab on the main page. So you just have to simply click on the playlist and click on the created playlist and here you will find the complete playlist for the Tailwind CSS. This playlist is an excellent resource for learning more about Tailwind CSS and mastering its various features. So before we dive into today's tutorial, make sure you have the Tailwind CSS set up and ready to go. Once you are all set, come back to this video and we will get started on our exciting journey with Tailwind CSS. First of all, let's add a Google font to our project. For that, you have to visit the Google Fonts website and search for the specific font you like. So let's do that. So let's suppose we want to pick the Roboto font. So click on that and select all of uh, any of the variation variations that you want to prefer. So for example, I want to use this one, this one, or you may select all of these as well if you want to. It's totally up to you. So on the right side, you can see that the configurations are being created that you can simply then use. So there are two methods to inject this font. One is the link tag. Second one is the import that you will be adding in the CSS file. So let's import this one. Copy this import statement provided by Google Fonts. Now open your project CSS file and paste that import statement at the top. Now after that is done, you need to open the tailwind.config.js file and in the ext extend section, you need to add font family and then add an object and then provide the name of the font family. It can be anything, you can type anything, it does not matter. So I will give it a name, Roboto. And then in the array, you need to provide the list of font families that you want to link with this name. So as we know that we have imported this font and the name of the font is this. So I will just copy that name and here I will add that one. And I will also add the sans serif. So now go back to your HTML and in your H1 tab, I will add font dash and you can see that the new font family that I just added is visible in this suggestion. So I will just select it from there. And now if you look at this, the font family should, should be applied. So if I remove it, then it should be removed to this one. Let me try another font and see how that will work. So for example, let's try this one. Let me remove this one. We don't need any of these one. Okay. So from here, I will select this, use the import statement and copy it in this way. And here, replace this import with this one. I did not copy it correctly, so let me do that. This is how you should use it. So this is the first name that you need to add in the tailwind.config, paste it here, and then add it here. And here, I can give it any name for, for example, let's give it tilt and save it as well in the index.html i will use font.tilt save it and now you can see that the new font family has been applied successfully you can use the font tilt class on any other elements where you want to apply the tilt font next we need to uh, try another method that is uh, adding a locally downloaded font and to make that possible you need to follow some steps so for example you need to download the font file for example the format the extension of those font files can be dot otf or dot wof and add it in your project's assets folder or wherever you want to prefer and first and then you need to import it in your css file using font face css rule so let's do these things step by step first of all we need to download the font so i will try to download it from their website 
from the Google. Let's try this one. So I will remove this one and you can click on the download family. It will give you all of the files that are available with this font. So you can see that font family has been downloaded. I will drag it from here and take it to the postman here and you may create a, an asset folder here if you want to move it in the assets. I want to extract this zip file so let's open it in the finder after we have extracted it we can delete the zip file okay now you can see we have all of the files available for this font now open your input.css file and remove this import and instead of that we will add font face and in the font family we can give it a name custom font in the source url we will provide the relative path of that font that we want to use let's do that for that i am going to copy this copy relative path and paste it here okay we need to add a space or mate and give it the name of the type of the font file so that is in our case ttf so you can replace the custom font with the desired font name and update the source url with the correct path to your font file okay so next we need to configure the tailwind css to use the custom font so for that again open the tailwind config.js file and add the font family here so i will give it a different name this time custom you can give it any name whatever you prefer but this is the important that uh, here you have to give the name of the font that you defined here in the input.css so this is the name that we defined here so you can give it the same name and i can add an additional font that is sans serif okay now let's try it actually it will still not work because we did not add the custom font on the index.html yet so let's do that so if you add custom you can see that it should start working but it is not working for me so let's see what's wrong so i made a little mistake here here instead of using ttf you need to type true type and now you can try it you can see that font has been applied successfully in the index.html i can increase the font size as well to see more clearly okay you can see that we have added the local font as well and that's it you have successfully added a custom font family to your css tailwind project thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more tutorials